second day of 2019. Naging tradisyon na natin na kada simula ng taon, nagbabalik tanaw tayo sa taong nakaraan. That's why tonight, we will give you some of the highlights of 2018. Mga kwentong nag-trending at pinag-usapan. Noong December 5, 2018, ginanap ang kauna-unahang Hasbara Awards sa Christ for All Ages Christian Center sa Quezon City. It's, it's called Hasbara Day. We, we try to explain the uh, purpose of the Philippine-Israel relationship the way we think that should be explained to the community, to the Filipinos, na uh, over the last two or three years, something miraculous, prophetic, whatever you want to call it, is happening. And this year, a lot of things happened. Our president went to uh, Israel. So we just want to put a, for this 2018, a climax. Layunin ng pagditipon, nagulitain ang ikaanim na pong pagkakaibigan ng Israel at Pilipinas. Kaugnay nito, binigyang parangal ang ilang mga tao at organisasyong nagbigay ng malaking ambag para sa pagpapalawig ng relasyon ito. Kabilang sa mga nabigyan ng parangal ay ang CBN Asia, ang anak ng yumaong Teddy Binigno na si Nena Binigno na isa ring manunulat, at ang negosyante at kapatid ni Senator Richard Gordon na si Barbara Gordon de los Reyes. It's, it's really not a contribution but a connection. So I, I know that I have a kinship to the Israeli people because my grandfather was, uh, is, is a Jew. Well, I'm very honored and privileged to accept this award. It's unexpected. But for me, the greatest reward is to see Filipinos here and around the world understand Israel, love Israel, and love the God of Israel. Lumakia po ako very negative view of the Jewish people, very negative view of Israel because of the anti-Semitic media. So our great passion is to tell the world the truth about God's firstborn nation, the apple of His eye, which is Israel. Naroon din ang ilang lokal na opisyal ng Quezon City, mga piling bisita mula sa Christian community, mga NGO na Israel at Israfil, at ilang negosyanteng hudyo na may negosyo dito sa bansa. Dumalo rin ang mga kinatawan ng Israel Chamber of Commerce na sina Yuval Man at Sagib Masad. The, the friendship between Israel and the Philippines is a solid, uh, solid situation. Uh, it's based on so many layers, uh, cultural layers, religion layers, and so on and so on. The business is another uh, layer. Uh, the Israeli, uh, mainly technology, but not only technology, um, suit to the Philippines and the Philippine needs because of the nature of our uh, businesses. We understand what is the real need of the customer and then we develop the best solution for them. And we believe that uh, the visit of the president would enable opening the Philippines for Israeli technologies and Israeli solutions in agriculture, in health, in uh, transportation, in uh, cyber and security. On top of that, defense systems and so on and so on. The fact that the Filipinos' main export is human talent is having uh, some benefits but some disadvantages because the best ones are leaving the country. What we believe is that uh, good investments in companies and in persons here in the Philippines Uh, by Israelis uh, will enable to enjoy the quality of the Filipino workers while they are here in the Philippines. That will enable the Philippines also to get technology from Israel to be uh, um, to be invested here in the Philippines. Bukod sa pagbibigay parangal, ang gabi ay pinaningding din ng mga awit at sayaw. Pangaral mula sa isang Jewish Messianic minister na si Sandy Bruce at ang tradisyonal na lighting of the Chanuka candles, isang Jewish practice sa pagdiriwang ng pista ng Hanuka. Hangad ng organizers na maging taunan ang Hasbara Awards para mas tumibay pa ang relasyon ng Pilipinas at Israel. So hopefully the event today could reach out to many pastors, the leaders of our community to look into what's really going on to this relationship. Because sometimes we're blinded with so many things at home, at school, at work. But really, uh, Elohim, our God, the Creator, has something special for both countries that no other countries have.